Good afternoon, everybody. Time for another Wolf of Bricks update. Once again, I am Jim, and this is where we talk about Lego investing and reselling. So recently I was, as always, trying to come up with topics to make videos for for this channel, and I said to myself, oh my gosh, I've been doing YouTube videos for, I would probably say, maybe 18 months now, and I was like, I've never done chess sets, which seems like something that should have been one of my uh, first videos because it is a chess set. There's, there can be a lot of passion to chess sets. There's, it's interactive. There's all kinds of good reasons why I should have done a chess set video sooner rather than later. So I'm very happy that I came up with that <laughs> idea and we could just go ahead and knock it out right now. But before we do get into that topic, usually this is the time where I ask you to like and subscribe to my channel, which of course I would love for you to do. But I would like you to, if you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe to the channel called A Couple of Brickheads. I was on a podcast recently with them. Great guys, Sean is one of the gentlemen on there. I've known him for over a year now. And whenever I was there, I just had a lot of fun. I hopefully will be invited uh, on podcasts sometime in the future, you know, maybe after the holiday season. But it's a great channel and very laid back. And I laugh a lot whenever I listen to them. So if you don't mind, you know, going ahead and subscribing to their channel, I'll put the link down below so you could go ahead and do that. All right, my friends, let's get into this. Now, here's the thing. This lego harry potter hogwarts wizard chess set i believe this is probably going to be the chess set that lego will ever put out we're going to look at some past sets and there are some really good past sets out there but there's nothing like this and i don't know if there will be anything like this in the future it's really really cool and there may be some people out there that may have asked themselves, well, why isn't there a Star Wars uh, Lego chess set? I really don't know the reason for that. I do know, you know, maybe five or seven years ago, there was a gentleman on uh, Brick Picker. His name was Ed. He, he went by the handle eMazers. And he mentioned one time that there is a company already out there that has purchased the rights to a Star Wars chess set. And I don't believe it's out. I don't know if they're just putting it on the shelf and sitting on it or, or whatever. And when it comes to licensing, he said that there can only be one theme chess set at a time, which is why Lego doesn't have their own Star Wars chess set, right? So I thought that was interesting until I hear a better reason. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy exactly onto what Ed said. And it kind of makes sense when you think about it, right? Because Playmobil, they didn't get their Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine box set, if you want to call it that, until Lego got rid of <laughs> their uh, Mystery Machine set and the licensing was discontinued. Same thing with the DeLorean for Back to the Future. And recently, the Lego T1 Camper was discontinued on Lego and guess what like five minutes afterwards Playmobil was out there marketing their own version of the T1 camper so again until I hear something better I'm going to go ahead and take Ed's word for exactly what it is but I totally believe that the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts wizard chess set is going to be the marquee chess set as long as Lego is putting out bricks. And you can currently see, it looks like it's already sold out. It's going for $84 on the secondary market. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna check out a few other sets. <laughs> check out this photo for the listing, right? I have no idea what <laughs> what's going on there. That's, that's crazy. But, uh, the, you know, it is what it is. It's Lego Castle set number 852001, uh, Castle Chess set. When we go to Camel, 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 I mean, we could see right here. I do believe, I could be wrong, I, I think this is an incorrect price, so I'm not sure how accurate this chart is. Of course, I is currently going for that price right there, but I believe when this set was originally released, it was going for $50. I don't see an Amazon uh, checkbox on it, so maybe it wasn't sold on Amazon way back then. Then, of course, when you go to the Lego Kingdoms chess set, let me tell you, when this chess set came out, this was around the time I started getting into Lego reselling. 
I said to myself, I cannot stand this chess set, right? And, you know, every time I say I can't stand this or this set will never make money, sure enough, it does, right? But for me, the reason why I couldn't stand it was I, I didn't like these little curved corners, right? I just thought that that was extra. It didn't need to be there. I thought it was uh, being distracting towards the rest of the chess set because the chess set, uh, other than those corners had a lot more to offer so i passed it up and guess what it's now going for 419 and change and when you go to camel 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 i mean you could see this set's going i believe it was at 50 dollars starting out it might have been 60 but i'm pretty certain it, it was 50 dollars and you know, right now it's 419 and change at the end of course we're going to do the excel spreadsheet and we'll see what the rrp price was but i believe the first two were somewhere around 50 dollars and then when you go to the next one right i mean this this is kind of a cool chess set but at the time i remember seeing this chess set and i said to myself it's too cheery and too bright for me chess sets are supposed to be dark cold and i do play chess it's been a while since i played chess but you know it's it's supposed to be not friendly there's supposed to be a little bit of stress a little bit of anxiety whenever you're playing chess and the sunshine just <laughs> it did not do well for me so i did not purchase uh, this set and sure enough it's going for 169.98 when you go to camel 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 you will see that it has performed well uh, but similar to the batmobile tumbler the first tumbler that came out the 200 dollars one it seemed to be quite stagnant right here right and, and then you know whenever covid or you know pre-covid it looks like it, it it had a bump during q4 and then you know when covid came it, it was totally off to the races so i wouldn't say that that this is the best looking chart uh for that chess set and then we have this chess set right here now i own I'm trying to remember. I think I own maybe 20, 25 of these. I purchased this set with the Charles Dickens gift worth purchase. And I believe the ice skating rink. And, you know, it was cool because you can, I believe you had to maybe do $150 to qualify for uh, both of those GWPs. And so, you know, I placed multiple orders on the same account uh, so I could uh, score as many uh, Charles Dickens and ice skating rinks as, as I possibly could. And it's already going for 93 bucks. And remember, the Queen's Gamut was out last year, right? I, have, I know nothing about the show, so I'm not sure if there's another season i think there is i could be wrong but you know whenever the queen's gambit was out you i remember seeing chess sets starting to trend upward right so this is one of them and when you go to camel 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 you know it's not bad for a chess set that has recently retired i mean good lord you see it right here it looked like as high as it went was was it really two hundred dollars holy cow who would buy who would buy that set for 200 bucks but i mean it, it looks like it, it was bought and that's not a mistake so good for whoever was able to sell it i know i sold all of mine definitely not for 199 but i think it was maybe around 125 and change and then when we go to the excel now we could see all the return on investments i didn't have anything for ebay just because there wasn't a set there and the reason why i didn't have an roi for the last lego chess set on ebay was because it's still even steven right so if you're able to find that chess set on ebay and maybe do some retail arbitrage and this would be the time to do it of course right because of q4 coming up well we're in q4 right now it might go to 60 not 69 percent, but it may go to 89 or 99 percent before the end of the year and you know i'm just going to say whenever i'm looking at this spreadsheet you know it looks like that there's some definitely clear winners and maybe some winners that really aren't doing as good as some of the other chess sets but going back to that lego harry potter hogwarts wizard chess set i mean i really think it's going to be up there with 300 percent return on investment 400 percent return on investment somewhere around uh, the the second or third q4 after it retires this is going to be that one chess set unless there's a star wars chess set that will come out in the future which i just don't see happening for at least the next 10 15 years that this hogwarts set right here will be the one that everybody is going to want to own and collect hope you enjoy the video my friends please don't forget to like 
and subscribe. Once again, I'm Jim with Wolf of Bricks. Always go out there and get it.